check it out. Wereldwijd net vir jou. Bok Radio. Bintsewa uh, by rights, orchestral maneuvers in the dark uh, should be in the semi re- uh, semi retirement. I say that with tongue in cheek, and I, I use the words of uh, Paul Humphrey, uh, performing classics like Enola Gay, made of Orleans uh, on the nostalgia festival circuit, like so many peers. Instead, they've created a landmark album worthy of their finest finest work. On the line this afternoon on Bork. Radio. Hi, I'm afraid you're stuck with Andy McCluskey, Paul's busy programming today, but hopefully I'll, I, I, I'll do. I, I will uh, do. Just thank make you. <laughs> All right. Welcome. Thank you for the opportunity to chat here on Bok Radio. Uh, you, you've uh, formed in 1978. You are regarded as one of the most influential British bands of the 1980s, putting out 10 albums uh, before the split in 1997. Um just uh, giving some background for our listeners. You reformed in uh, 26, going on to release a further three studio records to date and um, are due to drop your 14th LP, Bauhaus Staircase. Yeah, I mean, believe me, for a band that started on a crazy dare to do one gig in October 1978, This has been an amazing, blessed 45-year accidental career we've (laughs) worked. And um, amazingly, it turned out that our crazy music uh, was going to be the next big thing in the early 80s. And and we just have been blessed to have had lots of hits, have great fans. And when we reformed, we were stupid enough not just to do the nostalgia circuit but to also actually try some new music and the new music has been incredibly well received so uh, it's 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 been an amazing journey the good news is uh, the new album being dropped and uh, there's a tour date happening in south africa yeah and the we... last time you were here was 2012 um you've been here quite a few times 1993 94 um for a few uh, gigs uh, 2012 was the last one I know, and it's far, far too long, and we apologize profusely. We've been trying to get the promoter to bring us back uh, because we had such, such happy memories of incredible concerts. I mean, one thing we we didn't really realize is because until 93, 94, we were not allowed to come and play, we didn't realize just how well received our music was in South Africa. And, and when, when we came over, it was like a tsunami of love and we returned it it was and and, and you know so yeah the, the the 2012 gigs were great and 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 yes. we're coming back now in april for for a gig in cape town and a gig in in, in joburg and of course uh, the new album being dropped we'll get to the new album now your music overall being uh, politically motivated anti-nuclear songs like no luck gay big favorite uh, dazzle ships which is uh, about the cold war and there's so much going on in the world that uh, you can't ignore uh, is that when you get angry and start writing and incorporating that into t- music? Well, certainly, you know, it's always been my intention to write about things that were happening or felt important to me and not, not just write cliched lyrics about, ooh, baby, I love you, when there's more important things to talk about. Um, yes. And, yeah, I mean, you know, I decided I wanted to write a song called Kleptocracy because I do believe in democracy, but I feel yes. like there's a lot of selfish narcissists who have hijacked it and stolen it and they don't care about the people who vote for them all they care about Mm. is themselves and so yeah i wrote a song about them if you hear the words you'll know exactly who i'm talking about i don't need to name them now but um yeah i was angry and i'm taking aim good you started this album um during lockdown how was that i was (laughs) so totally bored (laughs) <laughs> there was nothing else to do um you know we'd been busy we had an album out six years ago we toured with that then we had a 40th anniversary album and that tour lasted right up until february 2020 and then boom the next month that was it everybody was at home and um i, I kind of I felt like i was a teenager again when my mother was watching something terrible on tv and there was nothing no, <laughs> nothing else in the house so i'd go to my yeah. room and either do a painting or write a song and that's kind of what it felt like now but it's been great because i actually i i had the time and the energy to really get stuck in to coming up with 
strong lyrical ideas, making sure that the music developed proper proper melodies and was completed. And I think when you give yourself enough time, even an old man like me can still dig deep and find some good stuff. And and allied with the, the good work that Paul managed to, to give me as well to, to make the album, we're really excited about this record. Is that important to you um, to, and um, I touched on that early on, uh, being politically motivated and all the things that's happening in the world, horrible things now in, in Gaza and Israel, and it says terrible things going on. Um, I, I also read an article, uh, 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 interview you had earlier on referring to America as well, Donald Trump, and the crazy things happening in the world. Does that motivate you to write even more uh, profound lyrics and songs that the world need to hear i mean obviously what's tending to happen these days is people are polarized and they will only listen to things that mirror their own feelings anyway uh, so that you know you, if you're saying something you don't want to hear they just don't listen but mm. music music doesn't often change the world but you can reflect things and you can make people ask questions and think about it. And, but also, it, it certainly mirrors how, how you feel, and it should do. Um, mm. Personally, I do believe that the world is a better place than it ever used to be, mostly. But there's always something going on that could be better than it is. And obviously, we've got Ukraine and Israel, Gaza at the moment, which are two horrible flashpoints where innocent people are dying. And, you know, you just you wish it wasn't happening. And I, I hope that people I hope people start leaning on the powers to be that, that to make the most peaceful outcome they possibly can. But I think these things are going to play out ugly for a bit longer. I'm sad to say. Mm. I'm sad to say that we are almost uh, well running out of time. I wish I had more more oh. time with you, but <laughs> OMD have sold an astonishing 25 million singles, 15 million albums, which has uh, established them as the electronic synthesizer. They say pioneers. I would say gods. <laughs> I'm a I'm a big uh, synth fan. Um, omd depeche mode i mean all the guys in your era so thank you what you've you've done uh with with uh synth and synth pop and also through the lyrics through your music um making a difference in the world now uh, looking forward to this uh, new um album uh, the album being available tomorrow is that correct in south africa and you said tickets yeah. are tickets are available for the tour um, can you give us those dates when you are coming to? South yeah, Africa? we're going. We're going to be at the uh, at the Green Point uh, Cricket or Sports Club in uh, on Thursday, the April the eighteenth in Cape Town, and then right. in uh, in Joburg we're playing the twentieth at the Marks Park Sport Club as well. So it's um, we're just so excited, cannot wait. We uh, are excited. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll we'll, we'll see forward. you in April. Absolutely, tickets are then opening um, the twenty fifth nine o'clock shop in south africa and then go get that uh, new album as well um thank you so much thank you for the time it went so quick and um i hope we uh, get to touch base soon again and thanks for making the time to chat to us here on bok radio thank you very much to you and everybody at bok radio and we, we will see you in april thank you so much Annie, bye now Annie McCluskey, omd all the best thank you so thanks Bok Radio, Bensio, Bensera.